first step is the first step for a reason because it's perfect for beginners. You need to talk to a friend or a family member. I want you to imagine that you're making a video and a million people are gonna see it. The entire internet is gonna see this video that you're gonna make. Soak that feeling up and then imagine that you're gonna make another video just explaining something simple to a friend. Now what if I told you that those two videos are the same video? It feels pretty daunting speaking to millions of people, but it doesn't feel too bad to speak to one person that you know about something that you know about. So when you're picking up your phone and you're gonna to talk to your audience on social media, just imagine a friend. You can literally send the video to a friend if that's easier. Make the video for your friend and then post it. That's something that I found really helped me with my mindset when I was getting started. If you truly wanna get better at this, you need to practice and you can practice in private. Lots of people forget this, okay? Just because you've recorded a video, you don't have to post it. I'm gonna give you an example here. Imagine you want to learn to play guitar and sing, but the only time you could ever practice was on stage. That would be incredibly difficult to be trying to get better and you know bearing all of your unconfidences and things in front of everyone every time. That's essentially what most people are doing on social media. You don't have to do that. You can take out your phone and you can press record and start speaking to it and you never have to post it. And by practicing over and over again, lots and lots of reps, you will get better at it, I promise. You might find that you're practicing and you say something you're like, oh, this is actually really valuable. This is gonna maybe connect with people or in my audience. So practice over and over again, get that repetition and get lots and lots of reps so you will get slowly better at it over time. So in short, do it lots and remember that you don't have to post everything that you record. This next point is something that people talk about a lot. So I'm gonna kind of go through it quickly but talk to one person, okay? It doesn't matter how many followers you've got, how many subscribers, whatever it is, talk to one person because that's what's actually happening. We've kind of touched on this, but if you have a thousand followers or a thousand subscribers, it's not one talking to a thousand, it's one talking to one times a thousand. That's what's really happening. And when you imagine in your head that you're speaking to somebody specifically, that will mean that the conversation is much more natural and the person is much more likely to relate and understand to what you're saying. Now, in order to improve that process, you need to think about what I call takeoff and landing, the beginning and the end. If you nail the beginning and you know exactly what you're gonna say and you nail the ending, the middle can be a little bit fluffy and that's fine. That's where you kind of add your personality into it. This is gonna be very, very specific to your video, but let me give you an example. I have other channels and things like that. One of them is touring Airbnbs. So I might want to show people around and then I might want them to go to another video where they can see more of these little tours. So in these videos, I might say something like, hey, welcome to this Airbnb, let me show you around. That's my beginning. Lots and lots of people mess up the end. They'll say something like, okay, well, thanks for watching the video. So yeah, if you, if you like that, then there's more. You know, that's a little bit fluffy, but if you know exactly what you're gonna say, hit my profile if you wanna watch more videos like this one. If you can get good at that, you can get your beginning confident and your end confident. The middle can be all about personality and practice that process, and that's what I call take off and landing. Now that doesn't work when you've got to convey lots and lots of information. It's very difficult to kind of remember it in your brain. But what you can do is you can download a teleprompter app. And what you can do with the teleprompter app, you can type your text out exactly as you're going to say it. And then you can even put that text right at the top so that when you read it, it looks like that you're looking right into the lens, which means you sort of connect with the audience a little bit more. That's why I'm looking at the lens of the camera rather than the screen of the camera or my monitor over there or my phone down on my leg. You could remove the script and just put bullet points in the teleprompter app if you just want to remember some of the things that you you want to talk about but this is really good if you're on the way somewhere maybe you're on the train or you're on public transport and you're just trying to jot down some ideas you can you can write down what you want to say so that when you get there you can just throw it into the teleprompter app and read it now we kind of touched on this already but your personality is your superpower it's what makes you different from everybody else now when you're speaking to the camera it can be really daunting because you start thinking things like you know why does anyone care about me why does anyone care about what i've got to say i've been a singer in a band for about 15 years and people often ask me advice so how do you how do you sing uh, how do you get good at singing and i'm like well you don't really get good at singing you just sing and some people like it, some people don't. The trouble people have is when they start singing and trying to sound like someone else because then there's a measurement of how successful they were. You know, if someone tries to sing a certain way and they fail, then yeah, you could say they're probably not very good. But if they're just singing in their own voice, no one can say, oh, that wasn't very good because I'll just, you know, there's no frame of reference. You're just being yourself. And personality works in exactly the same way. I've got all sorts of quirks that I am unconfident about with myself, but I don't really care because 
I don't really care. That's just simple as that. All of these tiny little quirks and all of these differences are what make up your unique perspective and your unique way of speaking. So use those. Those are the things that people will remember about you. And if you try and hide them, if you try and take them away, that actually just means you're reducing the one thing that makes you different. A lot of people jump on camera and they start to sound unconfident because they either don't really believe what they're saying or they don't really understand why they're saying it. A lot of the time we just feel like we need to be talking to social media, but do you want someone to go to your website? Do you want them to follow? Do you want them to go and check out some of your other posts on your social media? Why are you talking to people on social media? There will be a reason for every single time that you do it. Do you want them to go check out your latest post? Are you talking to your stories? Have you made a reel and you want to tell them something inspiring that helped you? You need to understand what do you want people to do once they've watched your video. Example, in this video, I genuinely want you to feel more confident and happier to share your own unique personality on social media if that's something that you choose to do. Now, sometimes you just want to entertain people and you just want to inspire and you just want to share something. Don't put up barriers. Not everything has to be this intentional action. Let me give you a really concise example, okay? Let's say you've posted something to your Instagram, you want people to go check it out and you say something like, hey guys, I've just posted something to my Instagram. Uh, I've not posted for a little while, so it'd be good to hear from some of you guys guys, cool, yeah, that's fine. But maybe you think about actually what, what that post's about and you think, okay, the caption, I really worked hard on the caption. The caption goes really deep into something and you want them to comment on it. That's what you want them to do. So we know that now. So you could say something like, hey guys, I've just posted to my feed. The caption is something that I really care about. So if you agree or disagree, I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Now it's not the perfect video, but at least we're clear about what we want them to do. That might help. Now this next one is very, very specific to people who go live. Now I got this tip from Sean Cannell from Think Media, so all credit where it's due. This really helped me though when I was thinking about going live. When you hit live, there's nobody there. What a lot of people do when they hit that live button, there's nobody there, so they just start looking at the numbers and they'll say things like, is this working? Hey, is anybody there? You know, what's going on? And it kind of sounds a little bit unprofessional, forgetting that this video is gonna be viewable afterwards. So prepare something, have something in mind that you're gonna say when that live starts. You can start confidently and then just give it a bit of a beat for everyone to join. So it might be something like, hey, welcome to the live. We're gonna be talking about this today and I'm really excited to see what everyone thinks. Let's just give it a minute while everyone joins the live, but I'm gonna talk with who is here, you know. Starting it like that, starting it confidently, understanding that there was gonna be people watching it afterwards. That was a solid tip from Think Media. It really helped me when I was speaking on my phone for the first time live. Now this might sound counterintuitive, to get better and more confident at speaking to your phone or your camera, improve your lighting. And improving your lighting could simply be going by the window. I'm not talking about buying like a studio and getting lights everywhere. I'm talking about being happier with the end video. Because as we've already said, doing it lots and lots will improve your confidence and your ability. What makes you do it lots and lots? Feeling good about the videos that you're putting out. And what makes you feel good about those videos? Lots of things, one of those things is lighting. So if you can find a way that in your environment lights you and makes you feel happy and confident about the image that is in the video that you're speaking on, I think you'll probably do more video. You don't need to buy anything, just stand by the window, maybe stand side on like this so that the window's here. That will cast light in like this. If you've got net curtains, brilliant, that will diffuse the light. If it's a cloudy day, brilliant, that's naturally diffused light. If there's just a bright sun and it's shining on your face, step away from the window so that the direct sunlight is not on your face. That will probably give you some pretty good results without you um, having to buy anything. And this point is very, very important. We've already talked about this a little bit, but be yourself. Those things that make you unique are probably the reason that some people will follow and some people will really not follow. But that's okay, we can't be friends with everybody, okay? We all have the things that we like and the things that we don't like. Now, if you don't share any of it, you become like lukewarm water. You become just someone that nobody really knows whether they do or don't like what you do. There are people that are probably annoyed by this video, but there are other people who probably like, I'm gonna hit the like button because this is actually really useful to me. And you only get to that point when you understand that your personality has as much right as everyone else is to be on the internet if that's something that you choose to do. I really hope that this video was useful to you. Hit the comments and ask me any follow-up questions. I'll be here after this video goes out for a little while just to respond to any of those. I'm really interested in what you think and how you feel 
when you're posting to the internet on video because it's not an easy thing to do, but respect to anyone who decides that they want to give it a go. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.